Hello, Mayan. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me well? Mm, yes. Okay, great. How's everything going with you, Mayan? Mm, it's good. Nice. Okay, what's the weather right now? It's sunny and so hot. Oh, very good. So do you have any plans after our class? Mm, no. All right. So what are you going to do for the rest of your day? Mm, I think I... Mm -hmm. I think I do my homework. Oh, that's really great, May Ann. Okay, is it is it a homework from your school? Mm, yes. Nice. Aren't you on your summer vacation? Mm, yes. Ah, okay. Why do you still have a homework from school, May Ann? Uh, I have a class. I think it's not. Mm, I study in my home, in, in my teacher home. Ah, okay. Like, what subject do you still study? Um, I study math and English. Oh, very good. Okay, so anyway, Mayan, today we're going to start with Unit 13. It's all about childhood. Okay, so do you know what a childhood is? Uh, uh, children. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Um, try uh, is um, right. I I think it's uh. Uh, 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 um, wait a minute. I think it's just some, um, some celebrate. And, uh, when I'm, uh, when I'm, when I'm small. Okay. So, yes, you are also correct. Yeah. Anything that happens when we were. Um, a child. Okay, so thank you for that one, Mayam. So as usual, we have three objectives. We're going to learn each of the vocabulary that are related to childhood. We're going to look at the phrases, provide examples with them, and we'll have reading and discussion. So this time, I want you to look, listen, and repeat. Neighbor. Neighbor. Very good. Okay. So here, Mayan, when we say a neighbor, of course, this is a person who is living next to your house. Yes. Okay. So, um, for example, me. Like, our neighbor always greet us with a friendly smile every time we pass by to their house. So, can you make a sentence using neighbor, May Ann? Mm, I think um, I, next to my house, I have a close neighbor. One more, Mayan, please. Mm, next to my house, I have a close neighbor. Very good. Okay, now next we have here childhood. Childhood. Very good. So when we say ch childhood, this is the time when you were a child. 
Okay, like from uh, from the time that you were born to adolescence. So right now, you are at the stage of adolescence. Okay, but when we say childhood, this is when, uh, this is the period of our life when we were a child. Okay, so for example, like um, during my childhood days, I could remember uh, I could remember riding a bike from my house to school. What's your sentence? In my childhood, I have so many closest friends when I'm small. Yes. Okay. So you can actually say like, I have many close friends, close friends during my childhood like that. Okay, and next one we have here, memory. Memory. Okay, so what is memory, man? Mm, I think it's just like a celebrated. Um, I think it's uh, when, <gasps> when um miss something in uh and I miss something in past all right okay so when we when we say um memory it's like it has something to do with our mind yes and it remembers information, especially information that happened in the past. Like, for example, I cherish the memory of my grandmother's stories told when we were in the ocean. So what's your sentence, Mayan? Mm, I have so many beautiful memories in my past. One more, please. I have so many beautiful memories in my past with my friends. Very good, Mayan. Okay, and we have in here a childhood memory. A childhood memories yes okay so when we say when, oh, when we say a childhood memory of course these are the memories that you've had when you were a child okay just like me one of my favorite childhood memories is during summer days when i uh, spent at my grandparents farm so what's your sentence, Mayan? Mm. I think oh, wait a minute. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think in my uh, in my childhood memory, I don't know to ride a bike, and I think it's and um I'm very all right. Mm -hmm. I'm very innocent. All right. So thank you for sharing that one, May and. Okay, and we have in here, carefree. Carefree. Okay, so when we say carefree, that means you are free from any responsibility. Yes, and you think without any worry or trouble. Like, for example, I like being a child because I don't think of anything. I am carefree. So what's your sentence? Mm, I think I am carefree um, 
Wait a minute. In my vacation, okay. in my vacation, I am very carefree. One more time. Um, in my summer vacation, I am very carefree. Okay, very good. Yes, because you don't have to think of your homework. <laughs> You can do whatever you want because you don't have school to worry. Okay, and next we have here a toy. Toy. Okay, what is a toy, Mayan? Mm, I think it's a uh, item. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, it's an item, but... It's a uh, thing the children only play. Yes, that's right. So what was your favorite toy when you were a child, Mayan? Because I believe we all have a favorite toy when we were a child. Mm, I think my favorite toy is teddy bears and uh uh, I think it's a teddy bear and a doll. Wow, very good. Okay, did you give a name for your doll? Mm, I think I have a name. Wait. It, it's like a Cinderella, like that. Ah, okay. That's great, man. Okay, and we have in here play dolls. Play dolls. Yes, of course, like most of the girls usually play dolls during their childhood. But when we say dolls, these are not very specific to Barbie dolls. Yes, this could also mean like some bears or any dolls. It could be a chicken, it could be a frog. It could be a hippo, like any form of dolls, like that. Not specific to this one, or we say Barbies, like that. Okay, and we have in here, play marbles. Play marbles. Yes, so when we say marbles, these are the small thing that we used to play when we were a child, and we would uh put like make a circle on the soil then put all the marbles in there and we have to hit any of them yes okay so have you ever played marbles before me and mm, i think it's just have a uh, little time I play marbles. Oh, that's really great, man. Okay, and next we have here play hide and seek. Play hide and seek. Very good. Okay, so how do we play hide and seek, man? Mm, I think as one people are. Like some people are count numbers, and many people are high. And when the last number, the people, I think it's the people find it. All right. That's right. So it is like a um uh, it is a game that we play when we were a child where one person closes their eyes just like this one. She closes her eyes and everyone will hide while she is counting. Then once she finished counting from 10 to 20, it depends on the agreement, then this person will try to find all of the people. Okay, so that is the same thing with hide and go, then seek, hide and seek. 
Okay. So my sentence is, the kids decided to play hide and seek in the backyard under the tree. So what's your sentence? Um, I think in my childhood memories, I sometimes I play hide and seek with my friends. Okay, very good. And we have in here, fly kite. Fly kite. Very good. Okay, so in what weather it is ideal to fly the kites, Mayan? Mm, I think fly a kite is um, playing with the... Uh, wait. <laughs> Mm. I think I play with my kite. Um. Ah, that's great because it. Uh huh. I think play. I know it, but I don't know how to say that. Okay. So my question earlier was, what is the ideal weather to fly a kite? So it is actually during on windy days. So when it is windy, then we can fly. It is ideal to fly the kite. Yes, because it's going to be so easy to fly a kite when there's a wind. Yes. Okay, so have you ever played a kite? Yes, I sometimes play fly kite with my friend. Very good. So when was the last time that you fly a kite, Mayan? Mm, I think in one um six years old. Oh, very good, Mayan. Okay, and we have here next read comic books. Read comic books. Very good. Okay. So in here, when we say comic books, this is the kind of book that has many pictures. And most of the time, there the story is funny. And it is de designed for children who doesn't like to read. Because by just looking at the pictures, we already know what the story is all about and what will happen next by just looking at the pictures. So more pictures, few words. So that is what comic books are. Do you like reading comic books, Mayan? Mm, I think, um, yeah. Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Now, look, we have here, watch cartoons. Watch cartoons. Great. Okay. So... When we say watch cartoons, like, of course, most of the children like watching cartoons. Cartoons are a type of movie that has characters that involves um, animals or some other, uh, some other characters. It could also be people like that. But most of the cartoons involve animals, right? Yeah. Hello, Mia. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, and when we say cartoons, these are anim animated movies. Yes. Like even when, even when I like when I was a child, every Saturday morning, we would gather in the living room just to watch Tom and Jerry. Yes. So, what about you, Mia? What is your favorite cartoon? I think my cartoon is play uh Barbie. What's uh, that? I think it's called cartoon just that we we all stay there. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you for that. 
Okay, and we have in here Grace Buffaloes. Grace Buffalo. Okay, are there buffaloes um in Vietnam, man? Have you have you ever seen buffaloes in Vietnam? Uh yeah. Very good. Okay, so when we say graze buffaloes, this is when we um allow the buffalo to eat some grass on a field. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. not all children uh not all children are fortunate to experience this kind of childhood. Especially if you grew up in a city, then there aren't any buffaloes in the city, right? But when you are a child who grew up in the countryside, especially at a farm, then this experience is very common because there are farm animals and buffalo is also one of the farm animal. Yes. Okay. So do you like feeding animals, Mayan? No. Do you like feeding animals, Mayan? No, I am. Hello, Mayan. Um, no, I am. Oh, you don't? Yes. Ah, all right. Okay, and we have here feed chickens. Mm. Feed chickens. Okay, so yes, this is simply by feeding chickens, giving them food so that they have something to eat. This is also a common experience at a farm. All right, so Mayan, let's have a review. Are you ready? Mm, yeah. Great. So this time you're going to tell me the word. Okay, so this word refers to the period of our life when we were a child. Typically, from birth to adolescent stage. What is it? Childhood mm, uh, memory. That's right. Childhood. Very good. Okay, what about this one? This oh. is something that uh, relates to our mind. And its job is to store, uh, like, its job is to remember information, especially ha events that happen in the past. What's that? Um, memory. Memory. Very good. Okay. And next we have here, this means that you are free from any troubles or worries. Any trouble. Okay. Mm. There's a toy. We have carefree. Uh, okay. Carefree. And here, uh, this means, oh, uh, this is an ideal type of game when we were a child, especially when it is windy. What's that? Fly type. Yes, fly kite. Very good. Okay, now last one. So this is very common when you live in the countryside or when you grew up in a countryside and you would um sit on the back of this animal. What's that? Mm -hmm. uh, Grace Buffalo. Wow, very good, Mayan. That's correct. Okay, so any question about the words? No, teacher. All right, so perfect. So in here, let's move on with our reading and discussion. So I want you to look and read. Mm, everyone has a childhood. Some have a happy childhood and some have a touch. Childhood. I think my childhood time was very great.
during my childhood, I could happily live with my family, relatives, and friends without worrying about anything. I feel loved by my family and relatives. Besides, I and my childhood friends spend a lot of time playing with each other all around. All around you. When I was little, my grandfather took care of me the most. I was the youngest child in my family, so my grandfather loved me so much. He often made toys and bought candies for me. At the time, I had many friends. Friends at school and many children around my home, uh, around my house. Some of them were even older or younger than me. We often played football, flew kites, went swimming, went fishing, and play a hide and seek together. We play in the morning, at noon, and in the evening. At any time, we had. Three times. Sometimes I forgot to come home, and our parents will worry a lot. My closest friend was Queen. His house was next to my house, so we play with each other nearly all day. Now we remain close friends. Very good. Thank you so much for reading this one, May. And so far, so good. All pronunciations and intonations are correct. So any question about the words in here? I think it's um, at noon. No question? Uh, I have a question. Oh, I cannot hear you, May. Um, I have a question. Okay, so what is it? I think I don't know uh, at noon. Which one? Can you circle? Yeah. Which word is it? Oh, at noon. Ah, all right. So here, when we say morning, that is in the morning <laughs> from 1 a.m. Usually like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., like when there, when when it's already during the day. So let's just say during the day, 6 to 11.59, that's morning. Okay, but when we say 12 o'clock, that is what we call at noon. Okay, so for example, when it is 6 o'clock, a. It when it is six a.m. like this one, we say good morning, right? Until eleven fifty nine a.m. This is morning. Okay, so we can say hi, good morning. But when the clock strikes at twelve p.m., then this is the time at noon. I'll see you at noon tomorrow. So that means I'll see you at twelve o'clock. Is that clear, Mayan? Mm, yeah. Great. So, any more question? Mm -hmm. Any more question, Mayan? Oh, I don't have a question. No question. Oh, yes or no? Mm, no. No, all right. So in here, I'm going to ask you a question. What made Peter's childhood great? Mm, I think... Uh, great. Because he could happily live with his family, relatives, and friends with 
without worrying about anything. Very good. Okay, so who took care of Peter the most in his childhood? Uh, his grandfather took care of him the most. Very good. Okay, what did he often play with his friends? Um, she, uh, he often played football, real tight, when swimming, when fishing, and play hide and seek together. Very good. Okay, who was his closest friend, man? His closest friend is Quan. That's right. Thank you so much for answering my question, Mayan. So now, Mayan, let's talk about your, your childhood. Did you have a happy childhood? Mm. Yes, I do. Yes or no? Yes, I have a happy childhood. Okay, what make your hap what make your childhood happy? I think I have so many friends and I'm was very carefree. Very good. Okay, who took care of you the most when you were little? I think it's my dad. Wow, very good. Okay, so did you have a lot of friends when you were a child? Yes, I have so many friends when I was a child. Okay, so what was the game that you liked the most? Um, I think my friend is sorry, hi. What's that? Just play hide and seek. I just hide and seek, yes. Okay, so who was your best friend? My, my best friend is Tang He. Okay, can you tell me about him or her? Mm, I think her... She study very, I think she study very well, and she always got up. Wait, she always, uh, huh? she always buy some food. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, did you have any nickname in childhood, man? Mm -hmm. I think I have a nickname in childhood. Okay. So, were you afraid of anything when you were a child? Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, I think uh, mm -hmm. I think Pardon I'm man. I think I'm a flying adult. All right. Okay, so here, what was your favorite childhood memory? Mm -hmm. I think it's when I go swimming with my family. 
Okay, great. What was your favorite subject when you were in the first grade? Mm, I think it's math. What was that? I think it's math. All right. What was your favorite food when you were a child? What? Uh, can you say again? What was your favorite food when you were a child? Mm, I think it's ice cream. Nice. Okay. So what? What kind of food do you hate the most when you were a child? Mm, I think it's spaghetti. What's that, man? Uh, it's spa spaghetti. Okay, why is it that you don't like it? Mm, because when I'm a children, uh, when I'm a kid, I'm um, I think I don't like eat meat and uh, I don't like eat meat and tomato. What about now that you are a teenager? Do you like meat and tomato? Sometimes. Uh, um, do you like or not? I just sometimes I like it. All right, great. Okay, now what kind of activities did you enjoy after school, Mayan? Um, right. Uh. I know that, but I don't know what to say. Like, for example, me, one of my favorite activity is when we play at the playground. What about you? I think it's when I eat. Lunch in my school. All right. So, what were your favorite holidays as a child? Mm, my favorite holidays when I'm child is that. One more, may I please? I think when um my holiday, my favorite holiday is that. That wow, very good. Yes, because yeah, it's like a new year here in the Philippines. Actually, we don't have a Tet holiday, but your Tet holiday is kind of New Year in the Philippines, and you usually celebrate it in what month? In the year, uh, in the month of January, right? Yes. Very good, May Ann. Okay, can you tell me why do you like that holiday? Uh, I think when you know that holiday, I have so many money, and I'm very happy. That is right, because your grandparents will give you money. That is a lucky money. Okay, and even your parents would give you your aunts, your uncles. But now when you become older, you're not the one receiving money anymore. You will be the one giving money to the children. <laughs> yes. So it's like you're, it's going to be your turn to do your part as an adult. So enjoy every Tet holiday because it won't last <laughs> until it won't, it won't last forever where you find joy in receiving money. Yes, because especially that when you have a work, just like me, before, I love Christmas so much because I receive Christmas 